Right, so I thought I'd take a minute to go over um, the different kinds of buses there are. So a lot of you guys might not know what they are. And uh, this might help you understand a couple things about value when it comes to that um, and des desirability of each bus. And uh, so I'm going to shut these doors here while we're talking. But um, the first... Bus I'm going to talk to you guys about is actually a panel van when it comes to these and it's probably the least desirable and the most noisy and not as much fun to drive as some of the others. Um, some guys like that. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. My, honestly, I get beat up in a panel and it's not really something that, you know, I really, I, I wouldn't mind owning one um, and the reason is because I want to maybe put a logo on the side of it, It'd be kind of fun, and then, you know, take it to shows. But as far as driving it to the show, you know, I'd put on the earplugs <laughs> and just, uh, you know, get there, I guess. Or maybe I would put an interior in it or something, but there's no way I would just want a panel just because, you know, it's cool. I don't, I don't know. I don't find them that cool. But, okay, so we're going to talk about some of the different types of buses. I've seen a lot of information on this but i've really not seen any videos on it so some of you guys are not really wanting to read a whole bunch of stuff um and you kind of want to hear it from somebody and maybe that'll help you guide you through some of the information so you're not just like going hey is this only me or do i think that this is this so the panel van would just basically be the same as this with no windows in the sides uh the panel van came basically with huh. Oh, it's locked. That helps. Um, this one here is not locked. It's supposed to be. Um, it came with this type of an interior. It's where the front parts were inserts that went here. And it came with kick panels. It came with these door panels here. Um, like that. And uh, they came in two different, two or three different options. They came with um, a, they also came with possibly an option that had a center uh, divider right here. If you had a, you know, full seat, um, that was an option. Uh, and uh, they also came with uh, two different seat options. So you had the walkthrough, which would have been, I don't have any walkthroughs here. So it would have been an opening in the middle, two separate seats. Okay, and then you would have had uh, uh, the ability to walk through the middle. They also came with, I believe it's called a swivel seat, which enabled you to turn your seat around so that you could get into the back. Super rare, very hard to find those. And everybody goes, ooh, they're worth a lot of money. Well, I guess, you know, but again, it's really, it's a panel van. Is it desirable? Is it something you want to drive, you know? Um, does that make it worth more? You know, I, I don't know. I think desirability is really the, what creates value, partly. Um, and then condition. So, uh, so anyway, that's pretty much the panel vans. And also they came with a single set of cargo doors on the right or left side, which depending on if it was European, it came with the left side cargo doors, the right side would have been American. Uh, some of the European countries, at least, uh, like, you know, all the ones where they drive on the right hand side or, you know, of the car would be the ones that had the cargo doors on the left. So, um, but a lot of them came with the doors on the right, even in, in some of the countries in Europe. So that's pretty much it for the panel vans. Okay. Then they had something called a combi bus where the combi bus was basically the combination uh, bus where it had basically what the windows are in this it was an 11 window um, it did not have a hatch or anything it was just basically a basic interior it would have came in one color so typically you'll see a lot of them where they were all dove blue or all ceiling wax red so it would have been this bottom color the whole bus all one color no two-tone paint um, and the, they, they were the cheap van 
It was the one, you know, that if you wanted, you know, you didn't really care if you wanted seeds or you wanted to maybe camper it out yourself inside. Um, it would come with optional seats in the back. So some of them came with a middle seat and with a back seat combina combination vans. That's why they were combis. Combi was combination. So it came with, an, with a middle seat and a back seat, possibly, if you ordered it that way. But it would have came with no interior door panels. Uh, a lot of the dealers put door panels in them, but it would have came with just metal, just like the... Uh, the one, uh, like, uh, uh, and they also came in the 1960, I think it's 66 was the first year, also came with a, the sliding door. So you could get a sliding door or you could get a um, cargo door set, just so you know. I mean, that came in all the vans. So that was one of the options that not a lot of people don't know about. They didn't come with a sliding door. My friend actually had it when one in the early 60s. That's why I know, and that's why I looked up that information. They did come up with a sliding door. It looked just like the double doors, but it was one big door that slid over. And it came with a double door slider, too. So it came with ones on both sides. Now, the double doors, just so you know, have belly pans underneath. And that's to ha ha to uh, make up for the, uh, for the uh, loss of metal on that side. So always look for the belly pans if you're getting a double door bus or a sunroof model sunroof models also came with belly pants so the okay so anyway the the combination van came with no interior it came with basically the same thing that's in this it had these this was actually a combination bus um, that they used as the so camper and uh that was the base that they used and that's why the dash is red um, typically the, most of the buses and the, and I believe that's how it works is most of them, the upper color was on the dash. So, um, on the SO models, because they were, you know, ordered special order, it was actually SO was actually Sonder Aus Watson or something. I forget how you say it, but it's, uh, it started with an A, that middle part was with an A. So, <laughs> Uh, that, that, uh, was special model in German. SO stands for special model. That's why they have the special SO campers. I'll go over those in just a second. So the interior was basically on the, on the combination vans was basically what you're looking at right here. It had these panels. It did not have any interior door panels, um, in the back and, but a lot of the dealers, like I said, they put panels in were like this. They had them made and put them in them. And uh, sometimes they had the same thing that the, the the cargo model had, which was a panel here and then a window uh, in the middle. Very rare that you'd have that. And they also used them for ambulance and stuff like that. So the ambulance windows, sometimes a sliding window in the middle for like the ambulance model which I don't know that much about those, so I won't be talking about those much other than we did one that was in a magazine back in the 80s. <laughs> so, but I don't remember that much about it. Um, so, it was actually on the cover of one of the big magazines. I forget which one. There, was a, there were several of them back then. So, anyway. The, uh, so... That I think I've got everything covered. Oh, the interior was all one color on the combination vans. So you get like, it was a similar color to this color that's in here. Um, and it would be on all the seats. Uh, and it would have usually had, I think a little bit different color uh, binder on it, or some people call that, it's actually welt. Um, they would have had a little bit different color uh, welt on there um some people call it beading it's actually called well so um so anyway that's it for the combination vans now that they're worth less and the reason i think they're worth less and some people think they're worth more is because the interior again had there's no place to put like right here there would be clips along on the next model that I'm going to talk about, which is a standard bus. 
it would have clips along here for the headliner. So um, typically they didn't have any headliner in them and they were really noisy. And if you want to put a headliner in, you can. I have done it, um, but it doesn't just go right in. It's not the easiest thing to do. And uh, it's it's a little more work than, than just doing the standard van. The, the standard van, which I'm going to talk about next again. So, I'm going to look at my 13 window to go over what the standard is. Because the standard went bus was very similar to a 13 window. It was kind of between these two. So, the next model, that pretty much covers the differences between the combination and the regular. I'm going to tell you real quick about the SO models, which are the camper. The SO models started in 59 um, they had something called a camping box that was out before that. And there was probably a thousand of those made from 1951 up until 1958 when they, before they started the, the SO model, which was, um, which they were all made by Westphalia. So the earlier ones were made by Westphalia, the late ones and the SO model started in, in 59, which this is a 61 SO23. So the SO23 started, it was the first um, Westphalia uh, that was actually part of the Volkswagen family. And uh, it, it, what it was is basically a, uh, a, a one of these, uh, the, I'm trying to remember what it was. It was a combi van, okay, special ordered and made two-tone so they all came two-tone the the uh the so models came two-tone now the ones the camping boxes had were painted i believe at westphalia shop so some of them had like a, a just a roof that was painted uh, i'm not really sure on that but i'm just the ones i've seen there ha there's not that many of them so they kind of had odd paint colors um, they were the same paint paint colors but they might have been two tone. They might have been one color. Um, so, but I've seen a couple of them. I think they had the roof was one color or something like that. It had a different breaking point than the normal bus. The normal this is this is painted like a standard bus. So the SO23 because it was again a, a, a special order with Volkswagen in partnership with with Westphalia um, were ordered. Uh, two-tone even though they were a combination van so and they had all the camping stuff in them all made by westphalia this is a whole nother thing to look up um if you're interested in those you might want to just look up more things on just the so models so you can find out more about what they were campers there's a whole bunch of different campers you know there's like the caravel those were all combination vans and then ordered by those companies and then taken over in and converted into campers all right so let's go look at the s the 13 window it's really dirty so it's been sitting outside for a few weeks now and then we'll go over what the standard model is so we're out here looking at the 13 window which is above the standard and uh what they came with is not this exact interior that's in here it came with the same interior that's in the 13 window um Except for the seat did not have the jail bar brackets or any of that stuff and they did not have jail bars in the back windows Because it did not have glass there. So it was still an 11 window van But it was missing These these two pieces of glass and therefore it had no need for these bars because that's to protect the glass That's what they were designed for in the 13 window So it did come with two-tone interior Okay, similar to what's here, but I, this again is not original. Um, I have the original stuff here now, and I'm going to put it in it. And uh, it's pretty exciting that I got it. Um, I believe it came with the horn knob that's in this one, but that I'm not sure about. Um, it came, but it did come with a full interior with the trim pieces and two tone seats. Okay, and it came with, um, it did not come with any chrome parts here. It would have been just painted or plastic parts. 
Um, it did not come with a clock, but it came with the most of the stuff that's in this interior. Now, it came with a headliner, and it came with clips, you know, so it has actually squeeze clips all the way around here and all the way around here by the door, which is the hard part if you're trying to do a combination van and put a headliner in it. Um, and it came with uh, more stuff in the back, you know, at the complete headliner setup. And the corners were, were actually, the corner where the window is, had a headliner piece that went over that in the corners. So, and it would have had headliners, a material all the way around the windows right here. Okay, versus painted, which is what the, the, the combis came with. They were painted inside. So, they came with two-tone paint um, in the same colors that all the other vans came in. Like, if it was a 66, this is uh, Tietze in red, and that came with um, Tietze. A lot of people say Titan. It's Tietze. And it has, uh, it would have had um, uh, no chrome, no trim pieces here. It would have not had a chrome emblem in the front. It would have been painted. Um, usually, I believe they were painted the bottom color, but I'm not sure exactly on that. I, I've seen them both ways. So, um, and I think that the combination van actually came with the emblem painted the same color as the vehicle. It just depended you know, on, I think you could order it different ways, but I'm not 100% sure. So look up the Bible if you want to on that stuff. Um, but that's pretty much it for the standards. So that's the difference between the standard bus and the uh, regular standard 11 window van and versus the uh, combination 11 window. So then the next model would have been the deluxe, deluxe model. Now, the deluxe model came with two different options. It came with everything you see here. Pretty much everything in this bus was on this bus when it was new. Um, and uh, it would have came with these bumper guards. Um, in Europe, they didn't have the overriders, but they had the bumper guards still. Um, it would have been optionally came with Safari windows, which came on all the different models, except for, I don't think they came on the... Uh, the uh, I don't know if they came for sure on the SOs. I don't think they did. Um, I don't know if they ordered them that way. You, I'm sure you probably could have. I pulled a, a, the set of safaris one, many years ago out of a regular standard bus. So they did come in those as well. And I believe they came in some of the panels and the, and the trucks. Uh, which I'm not going to go into the trucks. Those I don't know that much about. Um, but I, I know a bit about them, but I'm not really versed on this stuff. So they, the deluxe model came with all the trim. It came with uh, everything inside would have been chrome. Like your door handles would have been chrome. Um, it came with the clock inside on the dash. Um, it came with the beauty ring around the uh, speedometer. And I believe that also came on the standard. It came with a chrome ashtray. It came with... Um, trying to think some of the other stuff that came on these oh there's so many things uh, there's a lot of little trim pieces it came with two extra pieces of glass it came with gel bars for the back windows it came with gel bar seat with the gel bar going across here it also came with um, trying to look around oh it would have had um, overriders for here I have them but I haven't put them on yet they got to get polished um, and uh, so the overriders for the around the back bumpers it also came with beauty rings and these are the original beauty rings for this bus so um, pretty rare to see those you hardly ever see them at shows because they're very expensive if you can find them um, and it came with a full two-tone interior uh, same as the other bus that I was just talking about, uh, the standard. And it would have came with, uh, normally these would have been like a chrome look. I didn't really, I painted them because they were so shot. And the new ones are 90 bucks a piece, so 
uh, it came with the chrome underneath. Um, now, the option with the Deluxe was the roof. So, the same bus as a 21 or 23 window was the 13 or 15 window. It was exactly the same van. Now, if you wanted to, you could order it with a sunroof. And when you did the sunroof, you got all the skylight windows. So, you would have had all the windows in the top and the sunroof um, was optional. Also, again, on the... On the uh, not on the combi it was not optional on the combi bus but on the standard bus you could buy a standard with just the sunroof without the windows so on the deluxe it w always came with the windows you couldn't order a sunroof without the windows on the deluxe but on a standard bus okay which is the one underneath this one not the combi bus it could be ordered with the sunroof and that was an option you could get. So uh, you couldn't order, like I said, the, there's limitations on what you could order on the standard, on the on the combi bus. It would have had to have been really something special if it came with a sunroof or something weird like that. I personally have never seen one. So and I've been working on these buses since 1979 uh, or something like that. So, I mean, it's po anything's possible, but... Um, a lot of guys, I had an old hard top bus and it had all the skylight windows and no sunroof and everybody goes, Hey man, is that original? I'm like, no, it's not original. So anyway, that's pretty much it for this, for what the differences are between the buses and, uh, what, uh, you know, if you're looking at them, maybe, you know, you know what came on it and what didn't come on it. Um, and that'll kind of give you an idea of what you want. I'll talk to you in the next video.